He's big. He's purple. He's heroic. He just may be out of his mind. The Max. Ruler of the jungle. Scourge of the city. Journey to worlds undreamt of. With The Max, you've never seen a hero with feet this big. Premieres Monday at 10. After he died, Woody, I don't have a TV now, but that's okay. The shows in my mind are almost always better. The theater crowd's just arriving. This isn't the Jolson. We're three blocks... Oh crap, never mind. I'll walk. Idiot. Doesn't even know his own stupid business. Look it. Yeah, ready to live, Tony. <laughs> the skinny ones, Tigo. The big ones, Fridge. They beat people up, take their money, kill them sometimes. The cab driver gets a third. I'm gonna miss the curtain. If he doesn't know this city, I don't see how he can get a license. Okay, honey. Ah! One woman. They beat her head so hard against the sidewalk, they cracked the concrete. Another got away by running three blocks on a broken foot. Sometimes that's the only way people get saved. Suicidal bravery. Sometimes it's luck that saves them. Sometimes it's fate. Hey, hey, Fritch, here's another one. You ever seen anybody with so much change in their voice, huh, Fridge? You ever seen... What? What? Who, who are you? Hey, no, no! Yeah, usually it's fate. But sometimes it's me. And sometimes it's us. Okay, everybody, freeze! Damn. I was talking out loud again. Oh, God. Finally, the cops. Is my purse around here someplace? The police are gone. That bum in the mask was trying to help me. Do you think I should give him some money? After all, I could have been raped and murdered. Hey, you're not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Say, Todd, you remember a woman back there? Nah, if there was a victim or something, we'd have seen her. I guess. What do we do with Laughing Boy? Uh, let's drop him at uh, County Mental Health. County's full. How uh, about St. Jude Psychiatry? Don't have any room either. Well, we gotta drop him somewhere. He only threatened Fridge. Yeah, I almost envy him. Really? Why's that? 
Because the world's awful. It must be great to do anything you want and have other people clean up your mess. Yeah, like us. I hate this. I don't remember where I was this week. I saw a paper. Said it was Friday. The last I remember it was Sunday. I'm out of control again. Oh god. It started again. The pounding. God. I, I wish I was a drunk. At least that would explain this. Great. Where the heck am I now? So now what? What the heck? Little hands? Why are these little hands sprouting around me? Each is as strong as a man. Hungry as death. They will drag a man down to nothingness. To oblivion! Starting to fade. It's starting to come back to me now. Back to Australia. Not the Australia they teach you about. Melbourne, Sydney, the Outback. No, the real Australia. The smoking caves. The gods who eat mountains. The flying dragons. The rivers of gold. The leopard queen. Taunting me. Almost an enemy. Beautiful and feral as the great beast she runs with, still she inspires me. For her, I can be a hero! So, here's the first question. If you were lost in an airport, what's the first thing you'd do? Um... These questions just help us to get to know you. So... I've never been in an airport. Oh, goody. I'll just mark that right down. I never seen a social worker who dressed like you, neither. Sort of like a hooker. Thanks for sharing that. I'll take it under advisement. Keeping in mind that I have a job, while well, you have a blanket with vomit on it. Hello, City Health and Human Services. I did it for you, Julie. The pain, the sex. It was all for you. Phone creeps. Not again. Listen, filth. Oh, hello, Sergeant Okono. You've got him again? Hold on to him. I'll be right down. Yes, I know he gives you a lot of trouble. I know you don't get paid nearly enough. I'll bring the usual. Bye. If it weren't for the graft corruption and violence, this city wouldn't be any fun at all. So here I am again, bailing him out. Assault and battery, breaking and entering, attempted murder. Every time it's something different. He really thinks he's some kind of flaming superhero. Not that the city couldn't use one. Hi, Okono. You got a package here for me? Yeah, you shouldn't hang around with these creeps, Miss Julie. It was another rape last night. If you don't act stupid, you don't get raped. Blame the victim, why don't ya? It's a hard world, Okono. There's always enough blame to go around. Hey, Max. It's getting harder and harder to buy you out of here. You almost bit off Baker's finger this time. I didn't do it. Well, he just got 12 stitches to hold his hand together. If it wasn't you, then who did it? It was the mask. Right. I warned him not to get too close. Let's just drop it, okay? You need some new clothes, some food, and a hot bath. Okay. But no bubbles this time. They come out of the ground, pulling me down. I have to fight back or be destroyed. Then I wake up. As usual, it was all a dream. Alley oop, Snooks. It's almost night. This is my house, not a hotel. I bought you a coat and hat so you won't be quite so conspicuous. Not that being large, violent, purple, and yellow isn't a good disguise. 
So, Glory, where'd you get the knife? It's in my pot. For protection. It says it's dangerous around here. What do you want to do while the jacket's dry? I don't know. That's a really existential day, like, like Darby O'Gill and the little people or something. <laughs> hey, Tommy, cut it out, okay? God, just because we're drawing jackets together doesn't mean you get, like, touching privileges. Go get some coats, okay? And cool off. Sure, Glory. Jeez, don't get mad. <laughs> that Tommy, what a doof. But he's a sweet doof. Huh? Who, who's there? The machines begin to leak and melt in my presence. I can hear the beating of her heart. She is like a small, delicious slug. I have only to close my head to possess her. Crap! Ah, honey, I am whole. Listen, Glory, if you're always going to send me out to buy Cokes and burgers and stuff, then we're going steady. Yeah, that's what I'll say. And if we're going steady, then that means... <laughs> Glory? I hurt, Tommy. Oh, God. He, he did things to me. Coming up in one hour, we got a cool interview with Young Blood. Right now, we got some more Groovy's Rock Blocks from the 70s. This is WTHC. Try not to get into any fights, okay, Max? The woman I saved yesterday was raped and mutilated. It said so on the news. I have to do something about that. Spoken like a true fanatic. A few women who can't take care of themselves get messed with, and you ride to the rescue. Who are you to assume responsibility for their lives? I am the Max. Answer your phone. Hello? The others cry out for you, Julie Winters. Their screams of agony are the kiss that I place along your neck. That's very interesting. Tell me more. Doubtless one of your friends in the police department has tapped this line. No matter. I'm having a servant of mine place this call. Hey, don't I know that guy? And what's he doing with two phones? And why doesn't anyone else notice he's only a foot and a half high? <laughs> he's one of those underground things from my dream. Only black. And faster. Rats. Too narrow. But it's slowing him down too. Maybe enough for me to cut around and nab him. Easy. Crap. Didn't know they could jump. Gotcha. Now what do I do with them? Don't jump at me, you little... Gone. Damn. But if he can bite through steel, why is he running from... Crap! <laughs> I'll... I'll... I... Oh, fuck it. Greetings, Brer Lapin. Who the hell are you? I'm amazed. You really don't remember any of it. Not the girl, or the ears, or the blood worms, or me. Then it wasn't all a dream. Unless I was dreaming now. Too bad. I normally hate killing amnesiacs. Oh God. Now I remember. 
it was all coming back to me. I could feel the hot sun on my back skin and the grasses under my toes. Those little creatures were is, but twisted and changed by being moved to this world. True enough. Too, Too bad, bad you'll be eaten before you have a chance to mutter mud this to anything. Damn. Still talking out loud. Three whole weeks of dieting, cottage cheese and fruit plates and yogurt, and she's gained five pounds? Oh, poop. Maybe there was something in the fridge. Something unfattening. Something nice. <coughs> Nothing ever happens to me. I mean, I get up, I go to summer school for stupid algebra, I work on my car, nothing. Like today, I'm late for this CPR class, I'm teaching for extra P credit, and I gotta stop for gas. It's about a thousand degrees out. But that's nothing special. I would just wish something weird would happen. Really shake my life up. Not like what happened to Glory, of course. I went to see her at the hospital a couple of days ago. That was kind of gross. She's all bandaged up and can't talk good, and there are these burn marks on her wrists. Made me feel bad. She said they think they can save her fingers. My dad said it happened because she's a tramp, but I don't think so. Things just happen is all. Not to me. That's funny. There's an old woman in the station wagon who looks just like my grandmother. In fact, they all do. They all look just alike. Huh. And there's a black tarp over the station. I never noticed that. It looks almost alive. And it's slipping down, covering the station. Weird. Maybe it's some kind of automatic sunshade. But you can't see to pump gas in there. What if there's a switch? If I was to tug on this thing really hard... <laughs> Oh, I get it. It's that guy's cape. That's a relief. I was afraid I broke it. Of course, now I got two big guys fighting on the hood of my car. Give it up, prayer lad. You, no, you is just the one I want. She, the strong one, the one who pulls your strings. What are you talking about? It's kind of neat, actually. And who the hell are you? You really don't, don't remember, remember anything important, do you, Brer Lad? I'm Mr. Gorn, a student of the Mystic Arts. Unfortunately, an untalented student, I wouldn't have to keep shooting fools like you. Hey! Put that down, or I'll... I thought I saw a woman in there. Now surrender, hoppy boy, or this charming young chippy is added to my score. My hostage! You killed my hostage! You killed my hostage! You killed my hostage! You killed me! Oh, gee. Never do that again! Brother, nothing's easy. Uh, do you want me to call for an ambulance or something? That was really smart how you realized that was my CPR practice dummy. Uh, you did realize that was my CPR practice dummy, right, mister? Mm. Right? A dummy? Uh, right. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
It was the little old lady. They must have jumped out of the station wagon from the floor. I was starting to think it was getting pretty hazardous around here. Well, it was nice to meet you. Uh, I gotta be going now. He didn't say anything, but then he was pretty busy. I guess he's the sort of guy things happen to all the time. Too many. Can't fight them all. I'm lacking out. Lost too much blood and pain. Have to find Julia. with an angel. Aha! There. And that should cover you nicely. After all, we don't want the locals seeing granites clinched to trash bins by their teeth. Escaped. It feels good to run and leap again. To feel the soft loam under my heels. To know that I am king in this savage place. But even a king must have his jungle queen. If I can find her, then everything will be all right. There she is. But changed. Even her voice is different. What has happened to her? This is a bad dog. It keeps telling me things I don't want to hear. And if this bad dog doesn't shut up, I'm going to brush its hair right now. Elsewhere, on the pastel decaying Art Deco side of town, I ran into your friend Max today, Julie. He still hasn't got a clue that you're the key to all this. He thinks he's some kind of superhero on this world. Can you imagine? I killed him, of course. Shot him and locked him in a dumpster with a handful of the dark kisses. They turn meat eaters when you bring them over. Did you know that? Life is good. The Izzes are pretty interesting. Did you know that to humans they appear as whatever you dress them as? That's why I set up shop in this old costume warehouse. Pretty clever, eh? Of course, the bulldog jar rubber factory upstairs still smells of decaying rubber. But I think that just adds to the ambience, don't you? Not that you're in any position to complain. In fact, I can do anything to you I want. Oh, God. Let me guess. I'm supposed to be dressed as every cheerleader, prom queen, and circus acrobat who ever turned you down for a date? And as I beg and whimper, you finally achieve some sort of tawdry sexual revenge? Well, so much for that plan. Shut up! I'm trying to think! Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Plan two. If all this Baroque posturing is supposed to be threatening me, it's pretty lame -o. I mean, you can kill me, sure. So can every crackhead on my block. But you sure aren't scaring me. A tooth from one of those little monsters he keeps around. Must be sharp. Trust me, you will fear me. I doubt it. You don't have a clue who I am. Keep him talking, saw through these straps. You think I don't know you? I've stalked you. So? You see me as some little Miss Perfect, some Madonna to be seduced and absorbed. 
Actually, I'm pretty flawed. I've got a fat stomach and chafe marks where my jeans cut in and bad breath from eating the wrong stuff. And my underarms are stubbly. But I can see through you like glass, pal. You've got a problem with women. How perceptive. Did you figure that out when I kidnapped you? Or when I tied you up with leather straps? Of course I've got a problem with women. Everyone has a problem with women. Because women taunt and tease. Because they are attractive and then they punish you for being attracted. Do you deny it? After all, I'm not the one who wears underwear outside her clothes. You claim to be a pro-sex feminist. You quote Camille Paglia. Endlessly, I might add. But would a feminist of any stripe be so deliberately risk-taking? Or are you only a feminist when it suits you? You dropped out of college, set up this freelance social work of yours, started bailing people out of jail trying to reform them. You're nearly broke, surrounded by dangerous, desperate men. And look where it's gotten you. So this is my fault? You broke into my locked house and kidnapped me. This has nothing to do with the clothes I wear. This has to do with the fact that you're twisted as a corkscrew and looking to find someone, women, feminism, Paglia, me, to blame it on. Sure, I test the limits. So what? Quit whining like a broken doll and get on with it. Are you sure that's what you want? I can tell you things, Julie Winters. Things you've tried to forget. Things about me, yourself, even the Max. This whole elaborate fiction you've built up to protect yourself from the truth. The star is telling me things I don't want to hear. And if it doesn't, Do you remember spirit animals, Julie? Do you remember... I'm gonna brush this head right off. Getting your own spirit animal? Do you remember where you were? What it looked like? And what the animal's name was? If you saw it doesn't show up, I'm gonna brush and brush and brush. You were never able to accept the other plane, Julie. Never able to revel in it like I am. Instead, you hide in this fantasy. Remember, Julie? It's Until I brush off all of you. Dead. I awoke from the daydream of the wild place and teeth were at my throat. So I awoke and slew, but Julie is still kidnapped, and the Jungle Queen is insane. I didn't protect either of them. I failed. I wish it was time for cheers, but it's not. It's time for vengeance! Many interesting species of predator and prey sheltered within the broad grassy spaces and massed granite tarns of the outback. One of these is the Gibtit, or outback slug. It can leap nearly a quarter mile straight into the air, but it has never mastered the ability to land. It has no predators. It is just stupid. On the other hand, the great northern crabbit can jump and land, 
but it has a natural enemy. The is. The is can jump and land and has no predators. Unless you count me. That fright, you little mouse. <laughs> Run! You'll lead me right to him. The pounding in my head is like an ice pick. But I can't stop. One minute I saw Julie Winters in my mind, dressed as the Leopard Queen and insane. The next I was back here, still chasing this little monster. The gawkers glare at me, since to them, the ooze looks like a 96-year-old grandmother. But I know that it is a tool of the evil sorcerer, Mr. Gone, who is a serial rapist and murderer. He will destroy this city unless I stop him. Of course, maybe they're all staring at me, because I think I just said all of that out loud. Oh. Crap. It happened again. The noise and the beating in my head build and build. And then I wake up back here. The outback. But this time, I've got to keep my city memories. I've got to remember about Mr. Gone terrorizing the city. Remember all the people who will be mutilated or killed if I don't find him. Remember... I wonder why I'm chasing this is. Well, I probably had a good reason. I am the king of this savage place. All who know me fear the name of the map. Why do I feel as though instead of grass I am forcing myself through a horde of people? People from another life who look at me with fear and contempt. No! I am the Max! I must not give in to these fantasies of weakness! Doubtless this is some charm laid on me by an evil shaman! Evil sorcerer. The world flickers about me as I run, passing by like the spokes of a spinning wheel. Light and dark. Real and unreal. Suddenly, even a passing air whale has two forms and two meanings. No, I cannot be distracted. Only the chase has meaning. Is cannot match me. I almost have it. Spears. One of the deadfalls set by some ancient unknown hand that makes life here so dangerous and unstable. The spotted Sutadon dies instantly, but I survive, and triumph. The Sutadon is gone in an instant, dragged down to some Stygian pit. I have my prize, but I cannot remember why I... Suddenly, and much too late, I recognize the muffled roar. An is stampede! Drawn by my quarry's cries, a thousand mindless panicked is turn on me, swimming from the ground like moles. I will not be taken. I am the Mac. I am the world starting to change, to fade. Must fight it. Must. No! They are all dead. All. I have killed all. Um. I, I have penetrated to the wet, soft, white, squishy, betoothed heart of darkness. Why? You know, something about the Leopard Queen. A magician. 
in a strange, dirty land filled with cities and crime. Crime only I can fight. I can't think about these fantasies now. I have to run. Avoid the nets. Avoid the spears. Damn! The net was too fast for me. I feel myself dragged underground to some desperate fate. But I will be free. For I am the... No! I hate waking up to someone else's nightmare. I especially hate waking up in someone else's bathroom. And what's even worse, this bathroom has leaky pipes. I don't know why I know this is a bathroom. I am the king of the wild places. I should know anything about pipes and gaskets and traps and valves. But I do. Just like I know that dream was not my dream. It belonged to the Leopard Queen in some way I can't explain. Maybe if I can make this little pump stop dripping, I can think. Let's see, the rod goes up and the water stops. The rod goes down and... A little confused by the modern technology, hey, Brer Lappin? Boom. Pretty neat mask, right? I use them to frighten the natives away from my ill-harvesting operations. I not only need to trap those little buggers, but enough larger animals to keep them fed as well. Don't worry, it's only me, Mr. Gone. Man of two worlds and master of disguise. Give this to Julie Winters when you see her. After my encounter with her on the fifth zone, I may not have a head to go back to. Oh, another tough one. Good for the soul. You really don't remember our fight back at the gas station, do you? Eat droppings, Puckwallow! Naughty, naughty, Br'er Lavin. Do they teach you to talk like that back at the Warren? Meat breath, Ant Tickler! And you're a lot stronger on this side. I'll have to remember that. Hairless suckling! Max, we can't waste our time like this. Why not? I fight evil, and you are evil! No, no, that's just it. You're no superhero. You're a protector. Julie Whitman. I mean the Leopard Queen's protector. Huh? The two of you are so linked. What she feels, you feel. And she is lost. Lost in the city, and in her own mind. Why should I believe you, vile sorcerer? I'm Max. the Max! I Max! Max! Evil Max! And vile and, you know, and Max! Mary. What? Let me just convince you. With one word. Mommy. You see, I know about the dream, about the doll, about everything. I know who you really are. Who you were before you found the mask lying in the mud. And what you are now behind the mask, though you've been too cowardly to look. Tell me. Maybe later, the truth about you is only embarrassing. Julie's truth can destroy her. And this... Julie and the Queen of the Leopard Women are one? Yep. Man, this is gonna be a long night. This primitive plane which you think is Australia, and I call Pangaea, is all that is real. The other world is a dream where we are trapped, playing out our deepest fantasies. When Julia Winters was hurt, never mind her, she created a fantasy world for herself, a place where she would have control. You've got to go back there, to the city, to find her, 
and protect her. Keep her from knowing too much of the truth all at once. For the truth will destroy her. At least, that's what the villain told me. But who can believe a villain? Still, as I talk to Julie, I can't help remembering his words. He never told me anything straight out, only in riddles, but he implied a lot. He hinted she was in danger, maybe from herself. Do you think we're ready for toenail clipping at this stage in our relationship? Ho ho, funny boy. She seems a lot quieter since her encounter with Mr. Gone. More pensive. Calmer. Weirder. Here, let me do it. You're too careful. You gotta get right in there and trim those babies. Gone told me how three years ago, a young architectural student was beaten and raped and left for dead. Julie, are you gonna be okay? I mean, being kidnapped and all. Hey, Gon tried his tricks on me, but I got the best of him, so it's history. When she got out of the hospital, she used all her tuition money to set up a new life as a freelance social worker, trying to help other victims of the urban nightmare. I hate whining, and I hate professional victims. All day long I hear sob stories from idiots who can't cope, and so they pick something to blame. I was robbed, I was raped, nobody loved me. Time out. This woman used her position to build a wall around herself. Everybody's got to take responsibility for their own life, you know? She helped people by controlling them, hoping to smother her own pain. Something like that. And somewhere in the wild land, in the land of dreams, in Pangaea, her better self is imprisoned by her own self-loathing. I don't know. It seems like if somebody's raped, it's not like a test you failed or a job where you get fired. It's someone else's guilt for once. You get to have your own anger and... At least that's what Gon told me. I don't know if I believed anything he said. Least of all about Julie. Hey, Max. Save the liberal feminist garbage for someone who cares, okay? Sorry. I know you're just trying to watch out for me, like you always do. But it's over now. I cut the bastard's head free. You chased him back to God knows where. It's over. In fact, I was already having trouble remembering the details of what he said. It was like a dream. And I'm going to be just fine. A really bad dream.